Yo, yo, what up everybody? ET on the EUC. It's uh, February 1st, it's around 5.40 p.m. I'm just about to get started now. If this is your first time watching the channel, welcome. In this channel, I do food deliveries for Grubhub, Uber Eats, and DoorDash on electric unicycles in Manhattan. All right, let's get into it. So I'm actually uh, on the 16X tonight. If you can guess the reason, you're probably right. What's the reason why I'm riding the 16X and not the Sherman Max? What have been the reasons? Well, I'll just make it easy for you. The trolley handle? Yep, you're right. Trolley handle broke again. <laughs> so I broke the rails probably three or four times of the trolley handle on the Sherman Max just because it's super easy to break because the weight of the Sherman and if it falls over with that trolley handle up, it's game over every time. So I broke that about three or four times. The handle, the cheap plastic part, which is like as rigid as a rigid plastic fork, basically, it's like that cheap. Like you could probably grab it and crush it with your hand if you squeezed hard enough. And so they, they charge, you know, $37, you know, no big deal, right? It's either 20 27 or 37 plus 20 dollars shipping so it's absolutely ridiculous for a ch cheap ass piece of plastic like that but anyway so yeah that broke it was uh the part that holds onto the rails where you screw in the holes and stuff it those were cracking just because it's cheap plastic and the weight of the euc and stuff it just eventually just starts cracking the the part that's holding on to the the rails and that finally just broke off and i tried to super glue it and that didn't work so I was forced to buy basically a $50 handle that's like, should be like 10 bucks. Like that handle should be 10 bucks, be honest. But I mean, it is what it is. That's the only thing that we can use at the moment. You know, I recently got online on a Facebook post and someone said they were doing a 3D printed version of that. And if they do it cheaper than what I'm buying through these distributors, I'm definitely, definitely gonna get that 3D printed one because these handles and these rails on the Sherman breaks constantly. Like every month I'm buying a new rail or handle. It's like a utility payment at this point. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. So yeah, like I said, the goal is to stay out till at least 12 a.m. So that'll give me at least six hours. So I'm probably gonna stay out till two. It's a Wednesday, I don't expect it to be that busy. The 16X, the advertised range is like 60 to 70 miles per charge, but realistically, I'll probably get like, I don't know, maybe 50 or something, I'm not sure. And that translates to probably like seven, eight hours worth of battery I can use on this thing. Probably like six to seven before it starts giving me a tilt back. Let's see here, do I wanna take this? So I'm going to take this uh, 1010 for 2.1 miles just because it doesn't seem that busy at the moment. Panera. Yeah, it's right around the corner here. But yeah, the Kingsong 16X, uh, when it starts to get low battery, I'm not sure if it's 50% or lower or something like that, but it basically starts to tilt back the pedals. So it forces you not to accelerate when the battery's low because if you accelerate too hard when the battery's low, it could cut out. The whole thing will just brick on you. It'll just brick on you and just fall over. <laughs> just because you used, you're asking too much of the battery at a low voltage. So, uh, yeah, so around 50% or lower is gonna start tilting me back and probably start having me do fit like uh, 20 miles an hour. That's as fast as it allows you to go at that time. So, I don't know, let's see how long it takes before uh, this thing runs out of juice. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna go back and charge for 30 minutes or whatever, if I need it. We'll just see, I'll probably use it until the battery runs out. But yeah, it's a, it's a fun little wheel. This is the first wheel I've had where it's like basically a street tire on it. So I don't know how much of the fun factor is uh, because of the street tire. Cause it's really, it's really like maneuverable, you know? And like, it takes very little effort. At first I didn't like the street tire because it felt too maneuverable, but a lot of that was just the PSI on the tire and stuff. But now I like, I really like it. My Sherman has a knobby off-road tire on it. So it's not as maneuverable. It's also a 20 inch wheel. This is a 16 inch wheel. But uh, I think if I'm gonna get another wheel, it's gonna come with the, the street tire. I enjoy riding this wheel. It's, it's fun with this guy doing wheels. So stupid, dude. So stupid. Like, what's the point of that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I was saying, yeah, it's weird. Like, the more you ride these things, it's just like the more, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but it's like the more comfortable you get. Like, when I first got this 16X, like, it was just like, I remember having doubts. I'm like, did I make the right decision? Like, did I really put down 2000 something dollars for something that I'm going to hate that I can't even ride that, like, when I ride it, I feel very unstable. I feel very insecure. I feel like I'm going to crash at any moment and get hit by a car. Like, is it worth it? But as you get better as you figure out the the right psi for the tire so it's not as squirrely and you just get better you just like now i just hop on it and it feels like it's got to the point where it's like fuck bikes you know like fuck bikes like 
I'm actually using my legs to put effort to pedal a bicycle. Why would I do this? We're not gonna ride a smooth machine that goes like, has awesome miles on it. Anyway. Yeah. Google makes us go through all these weird ass like locations. Like it's making me cut through an apartment complex, go across the street like this, and then cut and then cut through another apartment complex right here. It's weird. Google, you're weird sometimes. So I was looking at the, I almost don't wanna say it cause I almost don't wanna say it because I, I kinda want it myself even though I'm probably not gonna buy it. So there's the Commander Pro, which is a new one coming out. And then the first version of that, which didn't have suspension and, and stuff like that was called the Commander. And it was basically competition against the Sherman Max, which is what I have now. They're two different companies. The Sherman Max is the wheel I have, which is from Veteran, Leaper Kim. And then the Commander Pro is from Begode. And it's basically the same specs on the Commander Pro as it is the Sherman. I I ended up getting the Sherman just because the reputation on, on it is like king. It's like the best best reputation of a wheel in the history of VUCs, basically. And I got it. That's the reason, main reason I got it. The original Commander Pro wasn't selling a lot. Distributors couldn't sell it because the Sherman Max basically just won all the customers' uh, choice awards, <laughs> basically. So the old Commander never sold, really. And now they're selling it at basically half the price, which is crazy. It's like $2,400 for the Commander at the same specs of a Sherman Max, which sells for like $3,800. If you were looking to get a Sherman Max now or the Commander for the price, I would go for the Commander. They're still selling the Sherman Max at 3800 but you can get this Commander for 2200 at the right distributor. And it's basically just like a Sherman Max. So <laughs> instead of getting the Commander Pro, which is the one I've been eyeing, I have been thinking about getting that uh, Commander, the original Commander.